I'm Cad Clay and I just dunked out a pole with Dirty Glove Bounce. Let power up. Boom, hit em up. All my arts, they clicking up. Yeah, we really in the field. Yeah, we really three and up. You can... All right, so we got Cash Clay off the porch with us today. No doubt, no doubt. Cad Clay, man. <laughs> How you feeling today, man? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good, you know, maintaining, okay. making it. Yeah, who you got on the porch with you uh, today? The Edgy Fosway. Yeah, yeah, he covered real soon. Edgy Fosway, straight okay. up. Okay. Yeah, man, we just got to start off this by saying long live baby J, man. Man, long live baby J, man. Long live Tiny Trey K, man. You know what's going on. Long live Steph. Long live my thugs, man. Yeah. Straight up. And that was your actual brother, right? Yeah, that was my brother. That was my other half. Hmm. Like, for real, for real. Yeah. How much older are you than him? Nah, he older than me. He oh, like, really? Yeah, he older than me. He like two years older than me. Okay. Yeah. He 27, I'm 24. Okay, I yeah. got you. I got you. So what was your reaction when you heard he had uh, passed away? I was asleep at first. I was in bed asleep. And my girl, I hear her talking on the phone. And she just like, ooh, baby, ooh, baby, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I wake up, I'm like, what you talking about? You feel me? What's going on? But she still can't tell me, though. Like, she just, she's shaking and everything. So I grabbed the phone. I'm like, hello? That when the person on the phone would tell me what's going on, so I jump up. You know? I ain't really believe it at first, though. Like, it was hard to believe, because it feel like, he like a person I felt like can't die. You feel me? Like. So when he died, I knew then, like, it's for real, you feel me? Like, I could really die, you feel me? Yeah. Hey, Jay. Yeah, long live baby Jay, man. Yeah, man. All right, so what's life like in Albany? Drugs, guns, thug, that, man. You got to watch over your back if you out there in the street, but... If you know, you know, if you take the good route, then that's your life. That's your, you feel me? Like, it, you can make it out. You feel me? Like, but where I come from, drug, guns, fine, thug, that, you know, you feel me? We still went to school, but some may make it, you feel me? Dying at a young age, all tight. Like, I am lost a lot of homies at a young age, you feel me? Like, so, really just trying to make it out of Albany, you feel me? Albany ain't. I wouldn't recommend it, you know, for for nobody to go stay there, you feel me? Like, yeah. No, that's real. And are you from the east side of the city? Yeah, I'm from the east side. I'm okay. from the east side of Albany, you know, big three. Yeah, big three. You know what's going on. At what age would you say you jumped off the porch? I'd say, like, well, I went to juvenile when I was 13. Oh, wow. That my first time going to juvenile when I was 13. But I say by 12, you feel me? Really by 11, 12. Yeah. But I, my first time going to juvenile, I was 13 for a burglary. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, young, breaking that high, you know, how I was, stealing car, you know, typical kid, I guess, in the hood. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what would you say is one of the biggest life lessons you learned? Biggest life lessons. You know, I did a bid when I was 17, too, though. You know, so I learned, like, the J, like, slow down, like, pace it. Like, pace life, you feel me? Like, don't, and don't take life for granted, you know, because life is really precious and it's priceless, you know, and you could be gone and a snap of a thing. So, you know, J, don't take life for granted, you feel me? And J, live your life how you want to live your life and, you know, just like that. Yeah. What would you say is the biggest obstacle to make it out of Albany? Man, the police harass you. You got people hanging on you. You feel me? Like, it's like nobody want to see you make it out of Albany. You feel me? Like, people from Albany. But, you know, I guess it's getting better now. I don't know. You feel me? Like, I really don't know, but... I've been hard to make it out of. It's hard. You make it out of I've been, I salute you. You feel me? Like, straight up. Yeah. 
So how long have you been making music now? I was doing like, like actually drop music. Like when I first got out, like 2018. Okay. Then when I first really did drop some music, it was my first, first mid-take, long overdue. Mm -hmm. Then second mid-take, the purgatory effect. So 2018, I mean, we're about two years, yeah. really. Yeah. They're giving it my all. Yeah. They're giving it my all. Was it going to jail that kind of inspired you to finally say, go ahead and start releasing some music? Um, really, I will, I will rap it before I got locked up when I was 17. I will rap it. And then, like, I stopped when I got locked up. Hmm. And my brother, NG, NG for Sway. He was rapping then, you know, he had got locked up too, so we rapping, he rapping then. Now then, when I heard him, I'm like, oh, you rapping? <laughs> I started back, you feel me? So, that really what inspired me. When, when I heard him, you know, rapping, started rapping, I just turned back up with it. Everybody went and loving it from there. Yeah. All right, so who'd you grow up listening to? Lil Wayne, but to be real though, I grew up listening to Young Lino. Like he like my he my big brother. You feel me? Like he my big brother. I really grew up listening to him. Like and that just made me just like really feel like I could be that great. You feel me? Cause I feel like he the goat. You feel yeah. me? Like he taught me a lot. Like just through his music. You feel me? So. That really what I grew up listening to, like, you know, I know. Yeah. Yeah. So how'd you get your name, Cash Clay? Man, it really crazy, like, cause I was locked up. <laughs> really? Man, yeah, I think I was locked up. And we were trying to, and I was, I was rapping so hard, like, I was going so hard, you know, I was, I was going so hard, so they were trying to think of a name in there while I was in there. I knew I'm coming home, I'm going hard, you feel me? So I got to think of a name. NG Force Sway say Lucci. This before Lucci even came out, though. Oh, really? This before he even came out. He like, Lucci. I'm like, nah. Nah. Cad Clay, you feel me? They went to Cad Clay. So I'm like, I like that. Got that Cad from the Clay. You feel me? Then I feel like I'm the greatest. You feel me? Like Ali, hmm. Cassidy Clay. And my son named Cassidy. Oh, really? Yeah, I named him Cassidy. <laughs> yeah. So what's your thoughts on the rap game right now? It need me. <laughs> Plain and simple, rap game need me. Like, I got a story to tell, a real one. I feel like when they hear it, though, they gonna tune in, you know? But people doing their thing, though. But it still need me, no doubt. What do you feel like you're bringing to the rap game that's missing? Yeah, I revive or whatever, you know, do CPR on it. <laughs> <laughs> Slime. All right. Um, how and when did you link up with uh, Hustle Real? I do Hustle, but I was locked up. I bet Hustle, but I was locked up. Like, that, like, they're like my big brother, too. You feel me? Like, Every time we met in there, we click. Real, recognize real, you feel me? So we click. Every time then I've been messing with him, and he been messing with me, you feel me? Like, little brother, big brother. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the music scene like in Albany right now? Oh, it's going up. Yeah, it's going up. I salute everybody doing their thing in Albany, you know, straight up. Like, Albany. Albany really need to be looked at more though, like, cause it's on talent now, now. talent, gift, all that, like, yeah, but we fucking it up right now. <laughs> Nerd gang fucking it up right now, man. Long live baby right. Jesus, man. Straight up, power up, man. Straight up, <laughs> we powering up. That's all going on. 2020, little step for you. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. Why do you think people overlook the talent down there in Albany? I don't know. 
really like, I don't know. Some people say feel. <laughs> some people say feel more fucked it up. I don't know though. You know, like. <laughs> Why do people say that Field Mob fucked it up? <coughs> no. You've been a little sassy for years. You feel me? Like, Cause they, you know, they, they were there. Then they just, you feel me? That's how people feel. So that's why they say that. But honestly, I guess we just weren't working hard enough. You feel me? Like, but it more definitely up though. Yeah, it more definitely up. Cad Clay, straight up. Would you say most of the artists down there are supportive of each other? It depends. Like, like, a thing going on. Like, you feel me? I've been so, I've been so messed up. You feel me? I told you it's a lot of hate down there. So you get them folks to rock with you from every side, you the one, you feel me? You the one, it's hard, but right now though, like right now, yeah, it going. I see, I be seeing people support, you know, other people, other rappers and you feel me? Yeah. I support all the rappers, you know? I know all the rappers support me, I fuck with them, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it seems like Rue's trying to at least bring people together from down there, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro been trying to do that for a little minute. You feel me? Like, and it working. Yeah. Yeah. I tell I tell him every day, Jay, just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep keep doing what you're doing. You ain't doing nothing wrong. You ain't doing nothing wrong. All right. Um, so dangerous. Just dropped this video, right? So dangerous. Yeah, we just dropped so dangerous, man. You know, and it got the city fucked up. Like, Got to sit in the friends, <laughs> straight up like that. What going on? We just dropped so dang, you know. We got about three, four more other songs with Long Live Baby G. You feel me? We got about three, four more other songs that coming out. But yeah, so Danger are doing good right now, you know. Long Live Step. How long ago did you guys uh, record that video? We did that video like. That's a matter of fact, we did that video the same day he passed. Really? Like oh, 10 shit. days ago. Wow. Hmm. The same day he passed, 10 days ago. We shot that video. We shot two of them. That's crazy, right? Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Also got a 100 from Zero out right now, too. Yeah, man. Like, me and bro was on the road. You feel me? Like, you know, me and bro was on the road. Zero to a hundred, I ever will. Right. Me and Baby G, I ever will. Right now. I uh, see so you got a video for Roll On Me out too. Yeah, man. Roll On Me. I know for a fact Roll On Me fucking went number one. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Hey, hey, it's the real deal. Like, true story, you feel me? Like, Everything real dead, true story, but roll on me, Jay. Like, you gotta feel it. You feel me? Like, but I know it's coming, though. You know, it's on the way. And the video for uh, They Want My Spot, that one did pretty good. Yeah. They Want My Spot. I did that video in dedication to my bro. Really, you feel me? Dedication to my bro. Long live Bobo. Long little Weezo, long little red smoke. Slime. Straight up. So you got the the We Paid remix out. Yeah, man. Man, Elegant. Yeah. Yeah. Harder repay remix out right now. They I need to go numbers. get on there. Go check that out, man. <laughs> Harder one out right now. Like, straight up. Like, little baby, check that out. <laughs> Slime. How long you been on uh, Allegheny Trap? Years. Yeah. For a decade. That my brother. Yeah, that my brother. From the same side, same struggle, different models. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's been like watching him go up? I love it. I love it. It motivate me. You feel me? Like, 
And every time we get, we work together. Like, you feel me? Like, that's my brother. He teach me a lot, you feel me? I teach him a lot. Like, <clears throat> we teach each other. Yeah. You working on a new project right now? Yeah, I'm working on a new project, man. Um, I'm really working on the, um, the whole nerd game mixtape. Like, that with all the nerd game members that rap. Okay. I'm working on that, but I'm really in album mode. Okay. I'm dropping my album, Baby Goat, coming soon. Hmm. Like, it's it really almost done, though. I'm really done. You feel me? But you know how it is. It coming soon, though. Baby Goat, stay tuned for that. How long you been working on that album? Man. You wouldn't believe it. On that album, I know for a fact I got songs from like a year a year ago. Yeah. They haven't even dropped yet. Just been stashing the good ones? I just been, I just been stashing them. Like, I really stash a lot, you know? You feel me? Like, for my for me take, I had a lead like. I know for a fact I had a lead like. Probably 70 songs I did when I came home. And then I picked. I was like 15 songs to go on my first mixtape. And one, then the other, 55 or whatever, you feel me? I stashed them. They ain't even came out yet. I did a whole new mixtape. Went in the booth and recorded a whole new mixtape <laughs> that when Purgatory came out. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Right. So who are some of the producers you've been working with? <clears throat> um, Drat. I've been working with Drat. Drat had made it. Um, Fire had made it. Uh, Mike Dollar. He ain't really J. He ain't really that bit too many. JDB. You been like. They from the city? They from Albany. Okay. Yeah, they from Albany. You feel me? Like. Yeah. That's all I really. Any features you've been working with? Um, yeah, I got I got a feature with like I say, Alligator and Trout. On um, my first minute, I had a feature with um Baby Fendi. Um, I got a feature with Young Lino on my um second minute. Um. Really about it, you feel me? Like, I'm yeah. really about it. Do you know what your next single is gonna be? Um, I'm probably finna drop that um remix to that allegation hmm. for that Pooh Shice allegation. Okay, yeah. Matter of fact, me, um, me and Long Little Walker, baby, he on it. Yeah, yeah, he on it. Yeah, I'm finna drop that. That coming real soon. Is that one of the videos you got stashed with him? We'll have to see, really, <laughs> but it more, it more, it more definitely coming though. Like, you know the video, most song with the walk up, babe. Yeah, you know, stay tuned. All right. So, what has being a father taught you about life? Whew. I ain't just living for me no more. I'm living for my creation. You feel me, like? And you know, I had, you know, I got it a father, you know, like I got a daddy, but he went all the way down, you feel me? Like, he went all the way down for me. My mama was there, you feel me? So, and I want to be there for my son, you feel me? Like, I want to show him everything that I ain't had, you feel me? Like, <clears throat> I don't want him to be in the street. If he be in the street, that mean I fail, you feel me? Like, that ain't the route. That ain't the route. All right, what else you working on right now, Claire? Really, um, I'm finna go and shoot the um, you know, the video to bless the Jew, my choker. That one of my own um, songs on um, the Purgatory Effect. Yeah, bless the Jew, my choker. Yeah, <laughs> y'all need to go check that out. <laughs> All right, any shout outs before we wrap it up? Man, shout out to the NG clan, man. Shout out to EML, BCE, man. You know the fuck going on, my gang. Check my copy on there. Got Stain, Grab a Glock, Hacker, Out, Free the Guy, man. 
Long live my thugs, nigga. Walk up, baby, nigga. Long live stuff. Long live Bobo. Long live Weasel. Long live Red Smoke. Nigga, slime. Nigga, you slime me, I slime you. Let's go up. Power up, thug life. Boom, hit em up. All my arts, they clicking up. Yeah, we really.